Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Monday, October 11th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across, large seashell. Maybe they're asking for a conch? Those are large seashells, yeah. Let's see if we can build off of that. Actress Blanchett? That's Kate Blanchett. Yeah, she was Galadriel, right? In the Lord of the Rings movies. Sure, why not? These quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for sure, why not? Hmm. Maybe that could just be okay. You're agreeing to something. Brand with a swoosh logo? That's gotta be Nike. Good reputation in slang. Maybe that's cred? Your credibility? Ponytail necessity? I wonder if that's a hair tie. Yeah. Look at this, we've got a grid spanner here. And another down here. We've had a lot of Mondays with grid spanners on them lately. That's great. Alright, let's take a look at this. This is probably something to do with today's theme. This is my final offer. Another equivalent phrase. I think this has to be take it or leave it, right? Hmm, take it or leave it. Interesting. I wonder if the theme is going to be about opposites somehow? What might have the solution to your vision problems? And this is a wordplay clue that's indicated by this question mark at the end here. Um, with wordplay clues, you have to look for a punny answer. So the standard reading of this clue might be about going to an eye doctor or something, what might have the solution to your vision problems. There's going to be a more punny answer here. I think it might be about this word solution. Um, I think it might be eye drop because that would be a literal solution that might help your vision problems. Yeah, nice. Okay. Play a trumpet, e.g. Uh, is it just toot? You toot your horn? A tire for Caesar. That should be a toga, right? Halting as rush hour traffic. I wonder if that's stop go. Hmm. That's another kind of opposite pair, isn't it? Take it or leave it. Stop go. That's interesting. Put on TV. That could be air. Small mammal that lives mostly underground. That's a mole. That's an animal that can also be a plant, as we learned the other day. Alright, let's make sure we got these acrosses correct. Uncle Blank wants you. That's Uncle Sam wants you. Yeah, that famous recruiting poster. Uncle in Spanish, Tio. <laughs> Tio Sam wants you also, I guess. Sign up. Hmm. Could that be enlist? Wow. That's a very appropriate pair to Uncle Sam wants you. Command to the helmsman from Jean-Luc Picard. That's definitely engage. Excellent. Homes in the Alps. Are those Swiss chalets? That's a very nice word to have in a grid. Chalet. Social influence. It's not cred. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're asking for here. Reddish brown dye? That could be henna. Use that to make temporary tattoos. Adam Blank, longtime panelist on The Voice. Mm, I'm not great with music. I think I've heard of an Adam Levine. Half of the digits in binary code. That's ones and zeros. So I guess it's ones. Cubit or carrot? I guess those are both examples of units. And it's unit singular because the clue is asking cubit or carrot. It's asking for one or the other. If it was cubit and carrot, the answer would have to be plural units because it would be asking for both. Okay, so maybe this is clout, social influence. Pick that might use henna. That would be a tat. Yeah, and it's this informal tat because in the clue, it's asking for a pic, an informal pic instead of picture. That's why it's tat informally instead of tattoo. All right, let's take a look at this next long across and see if we can 
notice any similarities to the first long across that we got filled in. Like something that's polarizing. Hmm. You either love it or hate it, right? Love it or hate it. It does sort of seem like maybe the theme is just everyday phrases that have opposites in them. Take it or leave it. Love it or hate it. They're kind of phrased in the same way. Yeah. In blank land? In la la land? Time in New York when it's noon in Chicago. New York is one hour ahead of Chicago, so that would be 1 p.m. Feature introduced to the iPhone in 2009. That's very early. That's only the second year the iPhone was out. Is it just video? Is that what it is? Is this gonna be ape? King Kong or Donkey Kong? Yeah, those are both apes. Again, it's just or, so it's just ape singular. Opening of an article in journalism lingo. That's the lead. You don't wanna bury the lead. Licorice-like flavoring? That's anise. Yeah, that's that black licorice flavor. Opposite of west-northwest is east-southeast, yeah. Let's look at this next theme answer. We kind of have an idea of how it's working. Maybe we'll be able to get it without a lot of crossing help. Get out of the way? <laughs> Is it move it or lose it? That's pretty funny. Purchase at the Met Museum, maybe. An art something? It's not an art print. Hmm. Mentions by name in a tweet. Those are tags, right? Rogue computer in 2001, a space odyssey. That's Hal. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Okay, put off until later as a motion. A motion, like a legislative motion. I guess you could table it. That means to put something off until later. So maybe this is book? An art book? Yeah. Tiny builder of tunnels and hills. That could be an ant. WC, that's another term for the toilet. WC stands for water closet. It's a little more of a delicate way of putting it than just saying toilet. Forbidden action, that could be no-no. Hit 2012 musical about paper boys. I guess that's Newsies. Yeah, I guess that was based on the movie. Bird in a barn, that could be an owl, a barn owl. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Those are all the vowels. DC Mayor Muriel. Oh, you know what? I actually know this because of our Mario Brothers themed puzzle that we had a while back. Yeah, that was Muriel Bowser. She's got that amazing last name. Boy, that Mario puzzle really came in handy. It's great. Biblical false god, that was Ball. Yeah, okay. Vegetable used to thicken stews. That reads like a poem a little bit. <laughs> uh, I think that's gonna be okra. And then, is this fake it till you make it? Having no middle ground between success and failure. Mm, no, fake it till you make it is way too long. That doesn't really make sense here. Um, I guess, is it make it or break it? That makes a lot more sense in relation to that clue. Yeah, make it or break it. Nice. Make it or break it, move it or lose it, love it or hate it, take it or leave it. These are great. They're not really opposites, um, but they're kind of like two opposing options and they're all phrased in the same way. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And two of them are grid spanners. I do like that. Actress Ryan, that's Meg Ryan. Let's just double check these acrosses here. Country singer Steve. Ooh, I'm not sure if I've ever heard of this person. Steve Earl? Yeah, he's new to me. And then material for Cinderella's slipper. Yes, the classic glass slipper, okay. Counterpart of columns. Would that be rows, like in a spreadsheet? Try to win over romantically? That would be woo. 
You have to woo her. Okay, on the basis of blank. Film about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever heard of this. Blank v. Wade? That's Roe versus Wade. Okay, big name in DVD rental kiosks. Is that Redbox? So it's on the basis of sex. Okay, yeah, interesting. I definitely haven't heard of that one. Okay. Titular Shakespearean King? That's gotta be King Lear. Tip over. When you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue like this, that means you need to be able to put it at the end of your answer and still have it make sense. I think this is gonna be keel over. That's a very common phrase. Documents, downloads, desktop, etc. Those are all folders on your computer. Yeah. Official language of Iran. That's gotta be Farsi. Some college grads for short. For short, hmm. Is it BAs maybe? Bachelor of the Arts? Lip service. And this is more wordplay. So this is not about making a token gesture towards something. It's gotta be about something to do with your lips, literally. We were thinking this might be BAs. Maybe it's a balm, like lip balm would be a lip service. Let's see if that's right. You have my sympathy, another equivalent phrase. Is that I care? <laughs> Both of these sound kind of insincere to me. Yeah, so that's kind of a nice pair there. Former Hawaii representative Gabbard, that's Tulsi Gabbard. She ran for president last year. Word after that's my or right on. That's my cue, right on cue, yeah. And then emit, send off as raise. That looks good. Not quite in shape, male physiques. That's dad bods. I love that phrase. That's such a nice contemporary phrase. Okay. Thai currency, I think is the bot. Um, I want to say it's HT like that. 1930s migrant, that's the Oki. We had that on the puzzle a day or two ago too, yeah. That is an immigrant from Oklahoma to California. Have a nice meal, could be dine. And this is looking like it's gonna be rhino. Any rung on a ladder? Oh no, that's gonna be a step, isn't it? So maybe this is the river? German river to the North Sea, yeah, that's the Rhine. And then this should be steep, right? Like some hills and prices, yeah. All right, let's put in that P and see if that does it for us. All right, that was a nice and smooth Monday puzzle. Um, this was a cute theme, yeah. All of these phrases are in very common use and they're all constructed in an identical way. Take it or leave it, love it or hate it, move it or lose it, make it or break it. Yeah, that's a nice thing to have noticed that there's these four phrases that are so similar. There's a couple of nice bits of language in the fill also. I liked dad bods a lot. Bowser, of course, is really nice, even though it's a proper noun. That's a really fun one. And I like chalets a lot too. I love that we got our little reference to Captain Picard also. Oh, and you know what? Did we look at this? Director Kurosawa, yeah, Akira Kurosawa. Yeah, he's like one of the best directors of all time. That's a great entry too. And we even had a couple of really nice wordplay clues on a Monday, which I really appreciate. I liked this solution to your vision problems for eye drop and this balm for lip service is nice too. I guess we had a little bit of a mini theme of wordplay clues that have to do with your face. Yeah, that's great. All right, well, thankfully we didn't have to issue anyone an ultimatum in order to solve this Monday puzzle. I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me and I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.